Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching Furutech. We all know that the Paranoid Android is a legendary ROM in the world of custom ROMs. PA team have created their signature AOSP custom ROM which has lots of tweaks for amazing performance with the better battery life and some scratch features of stock ROM. They have got some amazing developers who can port the features of stock ROM for custom ROMs. Similarly, PA team has brought some unique features ported from NothingOS 2.0 for new Paranoid Android Topaz 7 for Nothing Phone 1. So I installed the new update and we will see the performance and stability of this update in comparison with the old build. We will check out all the new NothingOS 2.0 features ported for PA. And finally, at last I shown some bugs in the ROM. Few days back I created community post regarding taking break for few days from YouTube because of my physical health issues but still I am creating this video because I want to give regular content for my subscribers as much as possible. So please if you like our efforts then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications for all our amazing content for nothing for one. Now with the further ado, let's get started. The new adventure. ROM didn't come with the Pixel Launcher, it has Paranoid Android Launcher with their stock wallpapers. Let's jump to the bot phone details to check the new changes. So our Paranoid Android version is now updated to V7. Last build we reviewed was the Topaz 4. This is the same Android 13 build. Security patch is upgraded to late July 2023. Last build was tested on the May security patches. Kanna version is 5.4.2.3 which is same like old build. The build date of this ROM is 26 July 2023. Last build we tested was on 14th June. So we skipped the review of two updates between Paranoid Android Topaz 4 to 7 and we got the, all the latest sources upgraded with this new update. First we'll check out the performance of this update. This build is more mature and stable. With the every update we'll feel the fluidity improvement and the RAM management improvement of the ROM. It can beat the stock ROM in terms of the performance too. If we test the performance using the Geekbench 6, we got the score of 1080 and 3074 for single and multi-core respectively. For OpenGL and Hukong Graphics API, we got the score of 2301 and 2764 respectively. If we check the old build results, there we got the CPU scores of 1078 and 2944. For graphics API, old build has the scores of 2072 and 2468. It's clearly visible that the multi-core CPU and both the graphics API scores are insanely improved here and ROM retained is first rank in terms of performance. Obviously this ROM is the king of performance and stability. In another test for screen touch sampling rate, we got the score of minimum 125 and maximum 250 Hz of constant score for screen touch sampling. This is very good score better than the stock Oxonos of OnePlus devices. So all touch response, apps opening, gaming response will be fast as compared to the stock NothingOS and other custom ROMs. Now let's check out the most important part of this update that is new Glyph features. All other stock Glyph features are available and working well in the ROM like flip to Glyph, ringtones and notification sounds, battery lever, wireless charging animation etc. But now PA team has added the new essential Glyph feature exclusively available in the NothingOS 2.0. In this option you can enable this essential Glyph light for all the stock and user applications. Just check mark the required application and when you get the notification of that selected app, then you will get the continuous blinking of notification for the right Glyph light unless and until we dismiss the notification. This will serve as the LED light notification for essential notifications and it will be very useful feature. Next developer has ported the volume level indicator of NothingOS 2.0 for Paranoid. But here only battery level indicator LED light at the bottom will show the volume level. It's working flawlessly. It's a pretty useful feature to know volume level of the device when it is in the phase down mode. PA team has added some nothing phone to ringtones for call animation but I can't specifically tell you which notification ringtones they have added. But maybe they are like this coil, beetle etc. This coil glyph ringtone has the nice glyph light animation.
Next developer has added the continuous battery level blinking while charging of the device. This will help to know the battery level easily when phone is on the charging mode. Now let's check out the some bugs in the ROM. Snapchat sometimes didn't able to send the messages to contacts. I didn't use Snapchat but some users at X developers reported this issue. Next bugs are regarding the nothing camera. ROM comes with a nothing camera but all the bugs that you seen in the previous build are still persisting here. Like no slow motion, portrait mode for the front selfie camera is broken, no glyph flash for the video recording, no camcorder light, except this everything is working in this camera. Wide one is on L3 so no Netflix or Amazon Prime HD streaming is available. These are the minor bugs except that everything is fine and ROM is rock solid. In my opinion, this is the top ranking custom ROM in the game of ROMs for the Nothing Phone 1. If you like the pure AOSP ROM without much customizations, then definitely go with this. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.